Hi y'all. I am coming on today to give you a tutorial on how to make the really cute butt ruched leggings that everyone's been dying for. So here are my shorts. I wear a lot of these bike short styles for my yoga Pilates and bike riding. So I'm going to go ahead and use this pattern that I just put together for you. And I'm going to turn them right side out. Now you want to find your backside of your shorts. All right, so the way to do this is to get one inch elastic. And what you want to do is you want to stretch it from the top of the waist where the waistband starts down all the way to the end of the crotch. Then what you want to do is cut that in half so that you end up with a piece that you're going to stretch to get that really nice stretch ruche. Um, you can also cut it a little bit shorter if you want it to be a little bit more rouging than normal. Um, I did cut mine about in half and then an extra quarter piece off so that this is the length of my butt ruching piece so what you're going to do and i went ahead and did it this way where it's already put together and sewing it this way because it's a lot quicker um, i do enjoy the fact that i don't have to then try to get all my seams correct because that ruching can affect the way that everything lines up so for me it's easier to put the leggings together first then do my ruching so i'm using my basic machine today Let me go ahead and turn you so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So I have a Teflon foot um, attached today because that, for me, will be a little bit easier to glide with. Um, we're going to be using our back stitch and our zigzag stitch for this project today. I'm just going to trim this string real quick so it doesn't drive me crazy. All right. So again, you're going to want to get your leggings onto your machine. Start right at where the, um, the waistband meets the shorts. Grab your piece of elastic, lay your elastic down. Bring that up about a quarter of an inch, half an inch. And you're going to do your back stitches first. This way it secures the elastic and gives you that room to pull it down the seam. I'm just getting mine set up so that I'm nice and comfortable. All right, you can do this by hand, but it takes a little bit and it's a lot quicker just to throw it on your machine. I would not suggest any other machine for this. This pretty much does what you need it to do. Again, I'm using a ballpoint needle. I believe it's a size 14 um, and a Teflon foot, but if you have a walking foot, I would use a walking foot. All right, so we're gonna start with our back stitches. Oh, my thread's not there. Real life sewing when you forget to rethread. Right, get in there. And again, you'll want to use a thread that matches pretty closely so that you don't see that when you wear them. So the black will blend in nicely with this purple. All right. So again, back stitching for a minute. That way you have a nice secure seam. All right, so then you're gonna to wanna to pull and stop at about two to three inches from where you have that secured and go ahead and start your zigzag stitch. So I'm gonna switch to zigzag. Making sure you're over that seam. And you'll need to adjust as you go so that you're getting that nice tight fit and you have the elastic going as far as you need it to. Again, making sure to stay right over that seam. And readjust again. And pull tight. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Again, readjust if you need to. And remembering to stop right at the, where the crotch meets. And then you're gonna backstitch a little bit to make sure that is nice and secure where you have it. And that's all there is to it, to adding a ruched seam to your leggings. And just remove them from the machine. Nice and easy since there's a lot of material shoved up in there. All right. I'm going to trim my threads and I will show you what that looks like. All right, and there you have it. There is my ruched butt legging. All right, show me what you got. Down below, I'll go ahead and post my affiliate link for the fabric, which is from Olga's Closet. This is their athletic fabric. This is some awesome space dyed that I had some leftover scraps for. All right, y'all, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Bye.